Hi, and welcome to today's webinar for just our nonprofit and education community by Workplace by Facebook. I'm super excited to get started, but before I do so, I would love if you could just quickly chat me. You should see a chat window, um, just so I know that you can hear me and see me all right. All right, I can already see the first chats coming in here. Hi there, John. Hi, Lori. Great. Thank you. Um, so like I said, I'm very excited because it's the first time we're ever doing a webinar exclusively for our nonprofit and education communities. Um, my name is Ruben, and I work in our Menlo Park office, so I'm located just south of San Francisco. Um, one thing I want to mention ahead of time is that if you have any questions, please feel free to ask during the webinar. I have a colleague here with me, and she'll be answering all of your questions as we as we go through the webinar. Let's see if it works. Yeah. So today's agenda will include three main points. First, I'm going to touch on an overview of workplace and also talk about what's new with workplace. Then we're going to talk about your workplace journey and also how you can make the most of workplace. And then finally, I'll leave you with some resources and also ways to get help moving forward. I think this webinar is intended for anyone who's already using workplace. Um, but even if you haven't or even if you aren't using it yet, uh, I think this webinar will give you some great context around how you could use it and also provide you with a vision of how your organization could make use of Workplace. And my objective is really for you to write down tangible ideas and notes of things that you could do with Workplace today. So I would love if everyone wrote down some key examples and um, ways to use the product that could be implemented immediately. So let's first look at the bigger picture and why we created Workplace. So we all know that the workplace and work, the workforce is changing pretty drastically. I read a stat yesterday that by 2020, 50% of the, of the employees will be millennials. And millennials, as we know, expect different tools and a different way of working when they come to the workplace. And they expect these to function and work similar to their personal apps. Another stat I saw is that by 2025, 40% of the top 250 companies won't exist as we know them today. So that means that you have to stay on top of the newest innovations and also be able to move quickly and be agile. And we at Facebook here recognize this, and we've been running our business on Workplace for over 10 years now to stay innovative and stay transparent internally. So that's why we created Workplace with the vision of giving the world a place to work together. So just a small recap of what Workplace is. It's a tool or a platform that we are all familiar with, or most of us, 2.1 billion uh, people use Facebook every month. And Workplace really looks and feels like Facebook. It's also for everyone. So it's, demogra it's democratic, and we really want everyone in an organization to use it, all the way to the CEO, starting with an intern. It's mobile first, with free apps for, your, for iOS and Android, so you can use it on the go. And <clears throat> we really want to spark a new way of working that drives culture. We understand that transparency and connection spurs innovation, and that's what we want to instill in all the companies that are listening in today. And then finally, it's enterprise ready and ready for your organization. So it's private, safe, and secure. And I want to emphasize that none of your personal Facebook posts will ever appear on Workplace, and the two are completely separate, and you don't need a Facebook login to um, access Workplace. And we here at Facebook, we're taking Workplace really, really seriously. So I was excited that when we announced our 10-year roadmap, Workplace was on this 10-year roadmap. And we are all excited to be part of the family. The best thing about it is, is that we are keeping it completely free for all of our nonprofit and educational institutions. And that is the Workplace Premium feature. So you can all use it completely free of charge. 
And finally, we just celebrated our one year anniversary a couple of months back with 30,000 customers globally. To the right is a picture I took myself um, at the airport. And it's something I'm super excited about because I really agree with the notion that people change organizations. And these organizations are 30,000 globally, but these are some of the ones that you might recognize. And the, one, the ones I'm most excited about are our nonprofit and educational institutions. So you might recognize these names. And before I go into the features and into some of the use cases, I want to share a short video with you guys. I love working with Save the Children because children always remind you how you should be. To be honest, to be inquisitive, to be enthusiastic. The magnitude of the problems that we are facing is huge. So we constantly need great ideas to overcome them. There are good practices everywhere. When I first used Workplace by Facebook, I realized that I had thousands of colleagues from around the world who were doing exciting and wonderful things. Workplace gives us an opportunity to share all of that in real time. In an organization like Save the Children, culture is critically important. Workplace has really given a voice to all the employees, whether they're in a remote field office or in a headquarters. Workplace gives people an opportunity not only to share knowledge, but to share themselves. On Workplace, you get a sense of what you're doing is of value, not just in your city, but across the globe. The most rewarding moment is to see them smile. All right, I think I've seen that video tens of times now, but I still love it every time. It's a great example of how Save the Children is using Workplace. And now that we've covered the overview, I really want to go into the features and into key examples of how you can use the product. And I think something that's important to me, as I said at the beginning, is that you write down ideas and really walk away with tangible use cases or features that you could use today. So something that I would uh, yeah, suggest you create, because all of us here at Workplace have it, is a Just Me group. This is Monica's Just Me group, and uh, she's our global director, and all of the employees uh, at Workplace here have a group like this. And if you're in the product right now, feel free to create one right now. You can, on the left-hand side, just click Create Group, and then choose any kind of group that you see um, fit, but I usually choose task and projects um, or teams and projects. And uh, yeah, you can just call it just me. And this is where you can take notes moving forward and maybe already starting today. Um, if you don't have Workplace open right now, you can either just use your laptop or um, pen and paper. I'll give you just a second here to, to create this group. All right, and like I said, if you don't have it open, it's okay to just take notes regularly. Um, and I'll take some time to stay online after the webinar. So if you haven't written down three things, please feel free to just uh, either chat me or my colleague. We'll both be there afterwards, and then we'll look at how Workplace can really support you. So let's go into a high level of how Workplace can be used. We usually look at three ways of how Workplace can transform your organization. And these three steps increase in sophistication, but they don't necessarily have to happen sequentially. And the first one is broadcasting and communication. And this is when you use Workplace to communicate reliably with coworkers and other teams and countries. It's also when you connect everyone, including, the, including your volunteers, to the company mission. And I used to work in a, in, in a nonprofit, and I remember how important it was that we were all reminded of why we came to work every day and what the mission was. And then finally, you can give praise and recognize other employees uh, through workplace in, during step one. Step two is a bit more sophisticated because you now start with teamwork and project collaboration. And this is when you start to give teams a better way to work through project collaboration. You can solicit ideas, plan meetings on Workplace, and then afterwards share your notes or feedbacks in groups. 
We also have a mobile chat and a desktop app um, with which you can chat, but also video call to communicate in real time. And then finally, you can also collaborate with external partners, clients, and vendors through our multi-company groups. The last step, step three, is when you start to automate your daily workflows. And this is when workplace becomes the heart of how you work daily. And you can connect all of your apps to workplace. You increase your productivity by integrating your existing tools. And you can start integrating bots to innovate through workplace. And now I'll go into each of these three steps, highlight some features, but also real use cases of how you could uh, use workplace to, to, to get work done. So let's start by step one and looking at the features that you can use. So the first one is groups. And at the beginning, Workplace really revolves around groups. This is where you can share updates and use it in general for internal communication. It's an easy way to broadcast information and allow people to participate in the comments and ask questions. To the, so to the left here, you see Rebe, one of my colleagues, and she posted the August schedule. And then in the comments, you can see Andrew, Joe, and Rob, and they're chiming in on the conversation, letting them know when they're available. So this is an easy way to communicate and broadcast information. The second feature is live video. Live video is super powerful and works both on your uh, mobile phone and also on your desktop. And this is where you can broadcast videos live into different groups. So to the left here, we see Matthew Ring, and he's reviewing our annual Future of Work conference. The cool thing is that you can ask questions live, and the, the presenter can then just look at the comments and, and answer the questions live. We have many CEOs who go, who go live on a weekly or monthly basis to connect with all of their employees and, ask, and answer the questions that are top of mind. The videos are then saved in the group afterwards, so everyone that wasn't able to attend live has the video saved. And finally, you have auto-translate. I understand that many organizations that are attending today are global uh, organizations that have offices around the world. And obviously, some people will post in different languages, like my colleague Patricia here to the left. So she posted in German, and then Workplace will translate that post automatically. And the same thing happens for um, uh, in the comments. And the, the translations are usually pretty accurate and definitely accurate enough so you understand the context of a post. And this happens automatically in Workplace. So now that we've looked at, at, at the features, let's look at a use case of how you can use Workplace to broadcast and communicate information. So I think one thing that all of the organizations here, including Facebook, do is we, we want to be more transparent, right? And one way we can do that is by going live from volunteering or charity events. So if you're at an event, there's often many people who can't attend. You can just go live from your phone, and everyone who's in the office can just view it. And it's something that I really like. At Facebook, there's events happening around the world. And if I can't attend in person, I'll just log in to my workplace and then see it from, from my office. The second thing you can do is share results and highlights of happenings across the org. And that you can see to the right here, where Serena posted about the 2017 food drive, just to keep everyone in the loop. The second thing is something that's really close to my heart, which is recognition. I love shouting out coworkers um, when they've achieved uh, a milestone, maybe a promotion or an internal uh, transfer. And Workplace is used a lot here internally for that, and you can use it. You can use it for this purpose as well. So to the right, we see Sarah, and she highlighted the employee of the month for October. Um, and then you can also share if someone got promoted. And then everyone else can either like the post or just quickly comment and join in on congratulating the person who's recognized for a specific achievement. So now I'm going to go into step two. And we'll again first talk about the product features that we have. The first one being multi-company groups. So multi-company groups are groups 
that are between your organization and another organization. So they're no longer just internal to your workplace. It's important to remember that the only content that is shared across both organizations is the content that's in the group. And this you can use for key partners, clients, or vendors. And it's really helpful to keep track of the communication that's already happening. And it also allows you to loop in different people from your organization and from your partner's organization. So at the end, everyone that's relevant is in the group and can see what's going on. And if you add new people to this group, they can scroll down and, and have a good record of everything that's already happened in this partnership. And we recently released uh, a feature that you can now invite anyone to a multi-company group, even if, they're, if they aren't already on, on Workplace. The second is chat and video calling. And I love this feature, and I often feel like it's a bit underrated. So chat and video calling looks and feels like, the looks and feels like Messenger. And again, you have a desktop app. It works in browser, and it also works on your mobile phone. And as you can see to the left, you can have a group chat, but you can also chat one-on-one. -on -one. And you also, have the, you also have the capability to call people. So on the left-hand side, we see on the top, we see that we see the icon of a phone, so you can just call them or you can video call them. And something we released very, very recently is that you can now video call with up to 50 people. So you can group video conference directly on Workplace from your phone. And then finally, you have company polls. And these we also use a lot. Um, almost on a daily basis, and they can be used for everything. You see to the left how they work. It's a post where you can ask a question, and then you can add, option, you can add options when posting, and other people can also add options if they feel like not everything has been covered. So here, Rebe again asked, when should we schedule our next team meeting? And then people could vote on the time. But then you can also add an option, like Malta did here, saying there's no chance I'm traveling all week. And you can again like this or comment. All right, so now that we've looked at the features, let's look into a real use case. So something I know that everyone's doing, or that probably everyone that's attending is doing, um, is planning events. And for this example, I used planning a fundraiser. So if you want to plan a fundraiser on Workplace, there are three main steps to doing this. So for this example, I'm going to use the Fox Fabrics Summer Party. And to start off, you can create an event page directly on Workplace. And this event looks like an event on Facebook. Um, and this is where people can RSVP. Um, you can add a time, location, and people have all of the context they need around the event. And then secondly, you can create a group for the people planning the, the event. So the five, six people in your organization who are looking to, to make everything happen, they can be in this group and share all of the information and status updates. And then on the day of the event, we all know that things change and happen last minute. So you want to be able to quickly communicate with your, uh, with your fellow employees in real time. And you can use chat and calling on the day of the event. And when I recently ran an event, I remember using this feature a lot and being able to just quickly call someone was really useful, especially if you don't have their number, you can just use Workplace. And then you can also do group posts in, in some of your groups that you have internally, or even as we mentioned, as I mentioned earlier, live broadcast um, and let all of your coworkers participate in this summer party. So here I'm going to quickly show you a short video of how chat can be used on the day of the event. So you can add multiple people to the chat. You can rename the chat. So this is for factory planners. We could call it the summer party. And then people can respond with GIFs, as JD did here. You can also share pictures and files directly in the chat.
And then, so this is on the day of the event. And then after the event, we don't want the conversation to end then with all of the participants of the party, but rather we want to continue the conversation. And that's when you can create an MCG or a multi-company group, which is the feature I, discussed, I, I mentioned earlier, where you can create a group with people outside your organization. And in this group, you can share summaries and pictures of the events and really ensure that you have an ongoing relationship with all of the participants or with all of the people who were at this fundraiser and help you raise money. So let's look into step three, again, starting with the features. So step three is where you really start automating the workflows and start integrating with all of the tools that you're using. So the first one, the first thing you can do is account management integrations. And what this means is that you can use integrations to ensure that everyone in your organization has access to workplace. And that includes automatic account creation and deactivation. You can now authenticate employees with single sign-on if you're using a single sign-on. And then very important for uh, the audience today is that you can add people with a personal email address as well. And you see some of the partners below such as Google, Active Directory, or Okta. The second thing is file storage integrations. And this is where you can integrate with whatever file storage integration you're currently using. And you can see the top ones being mentioned below, such as Box, Dropbox, or G Suite. Um, and what these integrations allow you to do is to, one, directly upload files from your current file storage, file storage provider, meaning if you use Box, for example, you can directly upload the link from the file that's stored in Box. Then in Workplace, you see rich previews. So you can, you can view the file directly on Workplace. And what's really cool is that you can directly upload the files from Workplace. So on Workplace, if it's integrated with Box, you can click on Choose File from Box. And that way, you can directly upload the file from, from Box or whatever uh, file storage provider you're using. And then the last one is bots. Bots is a term that's thrown out a lot. Um, I think in this use case, it means that it allows you to automate workflows or autom automate many of the repetitive tasks that you, you do on a day-to-day -day basis. And bots on Workplace can be in the chat or on groups. And I'll show an example later, but just so everyone understands that uh, you can have custom built bots, so bots that you build for yourself for you, your use case, or we have pre-built bots by select partners. Um, and yeah, I think the, the, the illustration that I'll show later will give a better overview of how you can make use of bots. And that's what I want to jump into right now, which is again, the real use case of how you can use, um, how you can use bots within Workplace. So my favorite bot is the safety bot. And what the safety bot does is it sends corporate safety alerts to anyone on Workplace. And you can easily target groups, offices, and regions. And you can ensure that employees are safe after an incident. incident. And what this really means is that if an attack or if some, um, yeah, some safety concerns happen in a certain region, you can reach out to all of your employees that are located there. So to the right, we see a great example where the safety officer um, reached out to Asvandi um, because there was an earthquake in Santiago and um, it then asks the employee, are you okay? And Asvandi can now rep uh, respond and say yes or no. And then the admin uh, is, is, is sure that everyone is safe. And uh, Delta Airlines used this feature during Hurricane Harvey, for all of those of you in the US, you'll probably remember this. Um, and they were able to reach all of their employees and ensure that they were all safe. And then secondly, as I mentioned, there's custom built bots that you can build. And again, this bot can be whatever you want it to be. And it just means that you can chat a bot and the bot will automatically reply to you. And you could, for example, check your PTO or sick days um, you can travel booking or, or do your expenses directly on Workplace, or you can know how your employees are feeling 
and I want to show you the Mudo meter here to the right. I'll show you a quick illustration of it. So all of these responses by the bot happen automatically. There's no one actually typing this. And the admin would then get a summary of how all of the employees are feeling. So that was a lot. But it felt great to share all of that information with you. I hope you were all able to take some notes and have some takeaways. I'm just looking over to my colleague here who's been answering your questions, and she seems super excited about the discussion that's been going on. So thank you for asking all those questions. We're nearing the end of the webinar now, but that doesn't mean we won't continue to support this community. So let's look at some resources and ways we can help you moving forward. So the first is our nonprofit group or multi-company group on Workplace. I will invite all of the participants to this webinar after, uh, to this group after the webinar. And this MCG or this group we've been using to ask questions and share best practices across all of the organizations. And I get a lot of inspiration in just going in there and seeing what all of the companies that are using Workplace are talking about. And I know the team here is also super excited about this group and you'll see us in the comments and just trying to help you with any questions, or we can brainstorm together on how you could use a uh, workplace successfully. So you'll all be added, and don't be shy to post in there if you have any questions. The second resource we have is the Transformation Center. I absolutely love the Transformation Center. It's our most complete resource for getting started or expanding your deployment. And if we think back to the step one to step three deployment, the Transformation Center really covers that whole journey and has resources and videos that guide you as you go on this workplace journey. Um, I really love that it's updated almost on a weekly basis, so you'll always see new content there, and it can really help you make the case for workplace internally, and it'll give you the support you need uh, when talking to your coworkers about workplace. And then last but not least is our Help Center. I find myself visiting the Help Center all the time. It's our, it's a help community, but also a website that uh, answers all of your questions that come up in the day-to-day. -day. We all find ourselves in the product, and if we have little questions, we can always just go to the Help Center, search, and look for the answers. And it also has an FAQ. So many of the questions you're asking yourself will probably be answered there. But if these three don't help you, we also have a support team that you can always reach out to. It's on the top right-hand side of your workplace. You can just click there, reach out to them, and they'll make sure to get back to you quickly. All right, so at the beginning, I had mentioned that I would love if you'd all written down three ideas. So I just wanted to quickly check in with you here. Um, and maybe if you look down at your Just Me group that you created, or to your notebook or laptop. If you have three ideas written down of things you could implement today, I would be really happy. If you don't, chat me or chat my colleague here. We're both going to monitor the chat now, and we'll gladly work with you to figure out some use cases. Thank you so much for taking the time out of your busy days. I really appreciate you all being here. I look forward to keeping the conversation going with you. And I'm going to leave you with our mission statement and something I believe deeply in which is together changes everything. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.